Markey is standing by for us in Coney Island with the story. Roger. Well, Roman, that's right. Two great things happening today for the uh, Greater New York City Ice Hockey League. One, they got $15,000 uh, from TD Bank to help with equipment that they lost during the storm here at the Ames Stark Rink in Coney Island. And two, none other than Wayne Gretzky. Yes, B, great one. Wayne Gretzky popped in and uh, took pictures with everybody, signed autographs. He was here for quite a while, really very gracious and uh, really uh, glad to uh, help out in the cause. Uh, of course, he's a big advocate for youth hockey. He started playing when he was two years old, he said, which maybe explains a few things why he became so great. But uh, indeed, uh, the, the, the uh, hockey league lost um, a lot of our equipment. And the, the, most, the, the thing that they really hurt was they have um, special bags full of equipment for a beginner program that they have on Saturdays here. That all got wrecked. $30,000 in all. So this $15,000 they're getting from TD Bank really going to help out a lot. And of course, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, was happy to be here for the event. When you have a community where everybody rallies around, my dad was always a big believer that the kids can participate in sports, keeps them busy, teaches them a lot about life. So it's great that the community and TD Bank rally around to get this arena back up and running. And uh, probably the best part of the day is the kids get to miss school, so they're probably thrilled today. We are so grateful to TD Bank and for Wayne Gretzky for coming here and recognizing Great New York City Ice Hockey League. We have been around probably 60-something years, and uh, we are very appreciative of that. And around 250 kids from all over the five boroughs play in that league, so uh, uh, good news for them. Uh, they're able to uh, get, get things back rolling, and it's amazing, Rome. Actually, this rink, which is right on the boardwalk in Coney Island, they were able to get back running just about three weeks after the storm. It took a lot of hard work. They lost $800,000 uh, in uh, equipment, Zambonis, and all kinds of different things. So uh, just part of the story that we've been telling ever since uh, that storm hit. A great story it is. Roger Clark, thanks very much.